Hi guys, Kabi from Your Path Hacks here. Today's video is about tips and tricks on using dictionaries. We will deal with the basics of dictionaries, but I'm quite confident that there will be a couple of tips or at least some reminders also for the more experienced developers. I myself have learned a few things while preparing this video. So let's start by defining the dictionary. What is it really? It's a generic collection, which is generally used to store key value pairs. Think about the dictionary we all know about that gives the definition of words in a language. The word is the key and the explanation of the word would be the value. So if we create the dictionary variable, and we look at the type. I would just type here dictionary and we would find it under system collection generic and I would have to choose the type of the key which is integer and the type of the value which is string. So let's create a dictionary. I would use an assign activity I have here my variable, dict numbers, and to define or to declare a blank dictionary, we can say new dictionary, and then of int 32, in this case, and then string, for example, for the type of the value. Okay, but Often we want to already initialize it with some starting values, not only declare it. So here's how we could do that. We just have to add a from and then in curly brackets, we define our elements and we define each element in additional curly bracket. And let's say we say one and then comma and then two, and let's go up to five, uh, because we want to test something um, afterwards, and it's easier if we have a bit more elements. All right, this is our definition of the dictionary with the five elements. And first, it's important to understand how a dictionary works. It is an unordered collection, meaning that there is no particular order for the pair of elements. So actually, one is not necessarily on the first position. We've just added it first, but um, any of them could be considered being on a first position. If we print out a dictionary, for example, multiple times, it will not necessarily pick up the same elements in the same order because there is no real order. It could be a coincidence that one comes first or two comes first most of the time, but there's no real order in a dictionary. And let's see that. So let's try to print out and see how we can um, list or print out our dictionary. We can use a for each activity for that. So we say for each item in our dictionary, we can log it out. So log message, for example, and we log our item. Let's see what that would do. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Very nice. It just happened to be in the same order in which we declared them. Let's just run it a few more times, see what's happening. Same. So you see this time it's one, two, three, five, four. And this time it's one, two, four, three, five. So there's no real order in dictionary and we have just seen that. 
Okay, now let's look at how we could add or remove values from a dictionary. Probably the easiest way would be to use the dedicated activities and to access those you need to have the um, uh, Microsoft Activities Extensions package installed. I've just done that before so I don't need to, to redo that. But um, if you install this package when you search for activities, for Dict for example, you would get a list of activities like Add to dictionary, clear dictionary, um, remove, value exists, and so on. So let's see how the add to dictionary activity works. You can just drag and drop it here. And we are being asked what is the type of the key. So we said integer and the type of the value, we said string. And then we have to maintain our dictionary variable, so dict numbers. And then we add here the key we want to add. So actually it's a number here, let's say six. And then we add here six as a string. Let's run this. And here it is. Six has been added to the dictionary. Um, now what's also very important to understand is how we add to a dictionary. If the key exists, it will overwrite the value. If it doesn't exist, it will add it. So if I just try to add a key that exists and I mistype the spelling of the word to, for example, we will see that um, it will check if the key exists. It will say yes, it, it exists and it, will, it should overwrite the value for the respective key. Okay, um, we actually get an error in this case when we are using add to dictionary. So apparently we can't update the value of, a, of an existing key using this activity, but we will try to do it with uh, different activities uh, because there are multiple ways of adding pairs of key values to a dictionary. Let's see how we can remove something from a dictionary. So let's choose key type of integer and value type of string. So we put here our uh, dictionary, our variable, then we put the key. Let's say we want to remove the key with number four. And then in the result, we have to, or we can use a Boolean variable that will tell us if um, the removing of the key was successful or not. So um, we can define a variable, bool result, Boolean. And at the end, we can log it see if the operation has been successful. So removing the key and then our variable to string. All right, let's run this. So we have still error from this. Um, I would um, just comment this out. And we have one, two, three, and five. And we see that um, removing four was successful. It's quite interesting that um, this was listed before the last element. That's interesting. Let's run again. Okay, so now this time listing the dictionary was finished and now it's showing the key. That's quite interesting how uh, sometimes these um, log messages are overlapping each other. All right, so let's see now some other ways of adding values to the dictionaries, adding key value pairs to the dictionary. One of them is the add to collection activity. let's try to use it. So let's set now the item to um, new key value pair and then we say of in 32 and string which are our types and then we open new brackets and we add our key and value and let's go for one, 
Let's run this. And we get an error again. An item with the same key has already been added. So apparently we're not allowed to use this activity to edit or to update the value for an existing key. All right, so let's put this back to 10. And there's a third way to add elements to the dictionary, and that's through the invoke method activity. So let's search for that. Let's use it here. And um, here we have to select our target object as dictionary numbers. The method would be add. So we are adding something to our object, to our dictionary in this case. And the parameters we have to maintain here in parameters collection, one for the key and one for the value. So we have an integer, let's add seven here and a string seven. Let's run this. And here it is, we have one, two, three, ten, five, and the seven we've just added with the invoke method activity. There are multiple methods we can use directly in our code. So if we just type, for example, um, dot after our variable, dict numbers, we get a list of available methods we could use. Actually, let's use here log message activity. And let's see what would make sense to use here. We could, for example, try to log something like contains key. Let's see if we have the key with one. run this, we have an error. Oh, sorry, there is here. Typo. So we have a true because it contains one, but let's see if it contains four. We have just removed that, so it shouldn't be there anymore. Let's run this again. And that's false for key number four. So we can play with this further, let's say um, account. And we have six keys in the dictionary or pairs of keys and values. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's correct. Um, and we can just um, try to list a specific item. So let's say item of one. In this case, it's just um, showing the value for the key one. That was it for today's video. There are much more methods for dictionaries you can experiment with. I hope this was useful and that you picked up a thing or two or at least refreshed your memory on a few topics. If you found this video useful, please support me with a like. And if you want more from where this came from, make sure to subscribe to the channel to be informed of future uploads. Thank you for watching and have a great day.